Okay, well, this model kit review is a very large box, and this is the USS Hornet, and you can see it's a 130, 1350th scale model, there are the dimensions, and this is a model by Trumpeter, it's a very large box, it's a very long ship, and this is the uh, ship from the uh, uh, Tokyo Raid, uh, the Doodle Raid, and also from the Midway Battle. We had uh, one of these planes, those are the B-25s that uh, flew. Let's see here, got any more details here. There's some details there about the uh, uh, aircraft carrier. And this is the one from the Tokyo Raid. So it's a very large box and we're going to open it up. And we're going to have a look inside. Let's see what we've got in here. We have our instructions, decals, lots of screws, the stand, the deck, and more parts of the deck. And we've got our planes over there. And we've got our ship. Okay, so let's have a look here. We're going to open up our plastic. Pieces. This is the main hole here. Now, what's interesting about this is that you could make it without the lower piece here, and that way it would uh, sit pretty flat. And uh, so look here, this is the bottom piece. So if you want to make it uh, flat, flat bottom is part of like a, uh, uh, something to, if you want to make it uh, part of a diorama or something, you can have it sit flat like that. Um, I would prefer, it goes that way, I would prefer to have it uh, with the full bottom, uh, which is going to sit something like that. So, and it's fairly more nicely molded. We've got uh, some nice details here. But we do have some parts here that are going to need to be sanded down. So that's that piece there. Uh, we also do have a stand. And the stand also has the sign. Underneath here, which is the USS Hornet, as well as the scale. We've got many of these screws here. This looks like the deck. As you can see here, this is uh, fairly nicely molded. Really good, typical trumpeter quality with our recessed lines. Patterns and uh, go there. That looks like that goes there and then there. So it's fairly long. sides of the uh, tower and as you can see they've got some nice details the little doors with lots of little access doors nicely molded uh, not sure what that is maybe ventilation shafts parts that stick out over the bow and the little windows These screws here, more details, um, here are our propellers, nicely molded, need a little bit of sanding on the side, uh, looks like also part of the uh, tower, but as you can see here, uh, here's our life 
uh, life raft or lifeboat and uh, nice little details there maybe that's our um, part of the steering more parts for the side of the buildings here as well as the elevators uh, all very nicely molded typical trumpet of quality Also, again, this looks like this is part of the side of the ship, and um, all this gets built beneath the deck. The deck was uh, raised uh, for storage, but uh, really, really well molded. We've got some stairs maybe there. Same thing with this, very nicely molded. I mean, just look at the quality there, perfectly straight lines. No mold lines or flashing. This looks like uh, the under deck. And uh, we've got some nice detail there. I typically would just sand those off and put a real chain there. All nicely molded. And really has some. Some good quality there. And these are all the little fiddly bits. Uh, lots of little pieces here. Um, very well molded, good details. There's a searchlight, a little uh, crane. Looks like we've got some guns here, defensive guns. And uh, more guns over here. We've got some uh, boats. All great qualities, and here's another copy of that. Now we've got our little planes, and let's so have a look here. And these are very small planes, they are the 350th scale. And what's interesting is that they've molded the rubber into here for uh, or black, it definitely feels different to the regular plastic as well as the clear is also molded in there so that's one uh, canopy there we've got our um, wings which are molded both top side and bottom side and then the fuselage there wheels and propeller looks like we've got uh, two of those you can always make extra copies if you needed to or buy extra copies. And over here. So here we've got two of the same thing again. These look like our B25, so this is from the uh, wow, very small little pitot tube there. Tails. Uh, this is from the uh, Doolittle Raid. We've got our propellers and wheels as well as our fuselage top and bottom and then our looks like our engine nacelles there are the uh, glass canopy let's have a look over here also got two of these and uh, you can see there are our wings engine nacelle same story and then the last one here, the last type of plane. So, not very big at all. Now let's have a look at our decals here. Obviously it's a ship, so there aren't a huge amount of decals. Some of them are going to be for the planes. And uh, have a look there. So we've got the um, plane decals, really not much else for the actual carrier. Let's have a look. Here's our instruction guide. So there's the uh, parts listings flight deck, the hangar deck. There. 
as you can see, is all the sprues that we've just been through. And we start off with the assembly of the deck. And uh, start, then we build the bow. We'll start to put all the uh, different parts on, uh, including starting to build the buildings for underneath the flight deck. And then we start with the stern. And more building parts going on there. And the hangar doors going on. This is all beneath the flight deck. Now there's a life raft. And so the next deck is then built and goes on there. And we've got our boats, as well as the crane, and uh, all the life rafts are being assembled there, as well as the gun ports. And uh, all the rest of the details here. Now he's trying to build the flight deck there. Center flight deck is being built. And then the island or tower. parts for the island and tower and then once that's uh, built we then assemble onto the flight deck and that's all mounted then to the ship base that's the other option if you want to have the full hull on there and then we've also got a um, nameplate like we showed you as well as the um, uh, rudder and our propellers so we've got our B-25 bombers, that's from the Doolittle Raid. And uh, there's the painting and decal guide. And then we've got our F-4s. Uh, you can have their wings forward if you want to, that's kind of cool. There's the painting and decal guide. We've got our uh, SBD-3s. Painting and decal guide. There's our torpedo bombers. TBD, uh, also torpedo bombers, painting and decal guide. And we've got some details here on the uh, painting of the uh, ship and planes, depending on which option you go for. This is with the B-25 Mitchells for the Tokyo Raid. And this is for the Battle of Midway with the Douglas, the Dauntless SPD 3s and the TBD Devastator. So, all in all, very well molded. Molding quality is typical of Trumpeter excellence. Um, great details. It's going to be a great build.